the tires so we can have access to the ABS sensor and harness. 19 millimeter socket. So to replace the ABS harness you know, with a universal harness, we're going to disconnect it from the sensor itself. Then we're just going to pop all the connectors out all the way around until we get to a comfortable spot where we want to cut and splice in. Let's see, one more right here. I'll bring the harness down. Let's open it up. Let's see what we have. And here are blue and yellow wires. So let's bring it right up to up to there. I'm going to cut the existing harness right about here. So I'm going to connect my new harness end on the actual sensor. Now I'm just going to run the new harness so that way I can get the most out of the length and make sure it's not too long or not too short. I'll set it up to where it goes right here on the opposite side up on the top here. Same identical clips. Push them in. I'm going to follow this right up and around. Bring that around here. All right, so now I can see what I'm working with here. Take this tape off and expose. So when you do splice things, you never want them to be side by side. You don't want to do that because then there's a big bulk in the harness and you wouldn't be able to use this. So we're going to cut two places. I'll cut down here on the yellow and I'll cut up a little bit further on the blue. Do the yellow one first. And I'm going to cut up here further on the blue. And now I can get rid of this harness. I'm going to strip those wires. Cut this one back just a little bit. And now we got to go to the original harness and do the same. Alrighty, so they equip and they give you two shrink wrap tubes. So we're going to put that one on. And they give you two connectors, so little brass connectors. So let's get this wire ready to go. like that, right in the center where I want to be. Take my crimpers, line them up.
now I'm going to put the shrink tube over the center. I'm going to take my little butane torch and I'm going to shrink that right around there. Now I'm going to do the yellow wire. Now I've got that brass pinched in there, gripped, and I will take my butane torch. You want to shrink this too until the glue starts to come out. These have glue in them, it protects it from the weather. So you want to make sure that you go all the way around and the glue will start to come out. So now I'm just going to tuck the wires back into the loom so we can this together. Obviously I let the wires cool down. Now I'm just going to follow up with electrical tape right around that loom. Keep it as protected as much from the weather as possible. Go as far as I can. Okay, now I'm gonna tuck it up there and Probably wire tie it, just keep it from falling down. I'm just crimping it real lightly around each other here. There you go, just like that. Get rid of the excess. It should stop it from falling down. Now we're gonna reinstall the tire. millimeter and we are just going to snug them up so we can torque them to the factory spec. Nice little star pattern. Okay, wheel torque is 100 foot-pounds. Repeat that star pattern. Double check. 